we do this tonight? And look at that. Prompt. It's 7 o'clock. It's showtime. Great. Thanks for being here. So um, I'm going to do a little bit of talking later. I'm very excited to be able to kind of get you back into the groove of having you hear the steel band concert here in the, in the Soul Sort of for the first time now. Um, and I'm, I'm so glad to be back. Uh, first group up.
theater which was great fun and i sort of got connected with brent through stefan i do also teach teaches in the goose creek independent school district and they got this big huge barn to buy a bunch of stuff percussion stuff in particular was awesome and one of the things on their hot list was getting cans and they they put together a great band and so is stefan unfortunately stefan could not make it tonight with his band but brent is here holding it down for goose creek so brent gibson and sterling high school students <laughs>
Peyton Grant and the Sterling High School Steel Band. I will say this, that my boss takes bullets for us, figuratively, of course, all the time. Lynn, thank you for all the great things you do for us. Yes. And uh, our administration at San Jacinto College, Dan Wigginton, who's the provost of the Central Campus, and Rhonda McWayne, who is our, our dean of liberal arts, they're very, they've been very supportive to us over and I'm also very grateful and thankful to the San Jacinto College Foundation. They are, have been supporting our endeavors for many, many years. A lot of what you see here tonight was made possible by their generosity. A lot of the instruments that were purchased to form these community bands came from grants that we got from the San Jacinto College Foundation. Foundation. So I'm forever grateful to them and their support. And they are also greatly responsible for uh, helping us get the money together for bringing in great guest artists like Joe Van Sant. So thank you to the foundation. Okay, I have to say thank you to the area director for all the work they do. It's wonderful. Thank you for everything you do for Pan and the community. I gotta thank the, the stand behind me. Uh, we, I, I work them hard. I, I like to say uh, most, I would say, raise your hand if this semester is First semester you've played Pan. Yeah, for real. That's a lot of hands. And they, a lot of these people have never played any musical instrument in their life, let alone read music. And so my fundamental philosophy is throw them in the fire and let's go. And I just keep pushing and pushing, and I think you'll enjoy what you hear come out of these brand new band players tonight. So thank you, band. You're wonderful. Give it up for them. And over the years, 
to these bands that worked so hard and put together so many great programs that we have the honor this year to be performing at the Texas Music Educators Association Conference in San Antonio. Yes, that's a big deal. It's, it's huge, because junior colleges, community colleges, almost never get any billing, and they looked at our package and saw what the kind of quality work that we do, and they said, yeah, this is worthy of the largest music convention, I think, if I'm not mistaken, in the world. Is that correct, Lynn? Yes, so that's a big deal, yeah. Okay, I want to thank some workers in the, in the background. We have the, the great students of our AEO, our audio engineering organization. For those of you that don't know, we have a state-of-the-art recording program here. We have an incredible facility. If you want to contact me or the college, we will be glad to give you a tour of our facility sometime. If not tonight, I'm a little busy. So. Okay, so AEO people, thank you so much for your help. And the AEO would be nothing without their fearless leaders. We have Angela Beyer, who's right here over my shoulder. She's been a longtime supporter and player in the steel band. Angela Beyer, Les Williams. Oh, yeah, she Yes, she deserves that. Les Williams is also a, a big supporter of what we do here. And Les Williams, we want to thank him. I also want to thank Andrew Fiddler, who is our newest audio faculty. Without them, we can't get things like this great sound reinforcement going. So thank you. I want to thank this theater crew that has been very patient with me this week. A couple times I got a little chippy in a bad way, and I, I immediately apologized for my behavior. But I want to thank Julie, and I want to thank Mark for everything you did, you did and are doing for us tonight. And Mark's back here, and Julie's backstage running things. So thank you, Mark and Julia. I'm sorry, Julie. Okay, one last group. Yeah, you thought I was done, but I'm not. <laughs> okay, I, I wouldn't be doing these cool things if I didn't have the great support of a great family. I, I have to say my three boys, Edward, Lincoln, and Maxwell, I love you very much. They're watching via live stream right now. Couldn't be here tonight. And my lovely, loving wife, Luciana. Luciana, I know you're out there listening. I can't do this without you. I love you and thank you for everything. Yeah. yeah. woman here that has created some beautiful new music that you are going to hear. First time planet Earth has heard this music. Josanne Francis. Traditional carnival characters. And in this piece, each 
movement, the exception of the last movement, is representing one of the characters. So the first movement, see, uh, we have the drunken sailor, which is a character. Then we have rubber top, which represents the midnight rubber, which is the thing with the hockey. Play mask represents the gambler man. Then we have rubber top. We have devil's playground. We have dance of the moko. And last but not least, in the next slide, I'm going to show you just a few images of these traditional carnival characters. So on the left, you have the sailor. So we have different types of sailors. We have the fancy sailor, which is the one that you see on the left. And then on top, on the right, you have the drunken sailor. So the first movement is representative of the drunken sailor. Beneath the drunken sailor is a carnival character by the name of Dan Loren. And this carnival character, um, the characteristics are exaggerated butts and exaggerated butts. And the next movement after that features the midnight rubber, which is the character that you see on the left. Very, very dreadful character. And on the right, you have some devils. So we have blue devils, we have red devils, we have black devils, many different colors, and they cover the entire body. representing in movement five, which you will have the original story of Gwyn, is Dance of the Moko, which represents the carnival character, the Moko Tundi. So these are your still walkers, and these are the guardians of the city. So we in Trinidad and Tobago, um, we have this tradition of Calypso music, which stems from our country, and Calypso is our storytelling. So tonight, as we do this world premiere, we will be telling a story. So I would invite you to, to pay attention to all the stuff that's happening in between the music and follow along with the story. And you're going to get to participate as well in the last world premiere. So good afternoon, everybody. Here's the world premiere of Carnival Tunes. to make some money on every corner. If you see them say, let's just embark you to ship, torn pussy dress in their fancy uniform with all kind of buttons and capes, moving smooth like the rolling seas through the condemned sailor crowd, bring drinks, cause tonight, in Port of Spain, we're going to have a ball.
better than its chief. Mocking slave masters grind up to them in a poor man's sheep. You see, the masquerade ball is the beginning of its week and its hours. It's all kind of puff and circumstance with fetching down in the barricade. Go to tip, go fatta, go budo, go coco, and go lolo. Dancing, whining, waving and gyrating to the rhythm of the oil drum and the tambo bamboo.
Singing, pray the devil, pray the devil, pray the devil. Tonight, them still have a million. But one dollar just is the root of all evil.
Stepping over mountains and the huge rolling hills. The Bible has been a book whose story has no end to seem even before ordinary men. Where for John Bean has come back to town to say fancy things from Wilmot Roberts and all them devils and
schools to come closer. Um, she is not, it's still a baby elementary, but we continue to bring them over to them. Um, the repertoire that she and I have is very, very small when compared to other types of ensembles. So this, what Mike is doing, is really helping push the entire school down the road forward. So thank you so very much.
Okay. 